Hello everybody, this is Matthew Robinson. I'm here at Archlight Cinema in San Diego at the San Diego International Film Festival. I'm here with John Asher, the director of Poe. I'm also here accompanied with Julian, our uh, main character. Go ahead and tell me a little bit about the film. Uh, well, it's a movie that uh, highlights autism and the struggles of a single father with his autistic son after he's lost his wife. Um, and it's the kind of the the trials and tribulations of, of what a family has to go through to raise an autistic child. And we also get a little bit of magic in the movie because we get to go into Poe's mind. Nice. Um, what inspired you to do a film about autistic? Is there anything close to home about it? or? Yes, my son's autistic. Pretty close to home. Uh, and the writer's son is autistic. And Christopher Gorm's son is autistic and Andrew Bowen's son's autistic. So we had a core group of us that wanted to get together and really bring this movie to life. And it's hard when you're making a movie about autism, there's, it's such a broad spectrum from, from Asperger's to severe autism. And we wanted to kind of get right in the middle mm -hmm. so that people could really get a real taste of, of what goes on behind the closed doors of families with autism and, and the struggles <laughs> and the things that go on and the magic that all of these children bring into our lives. There's really something so magical about them and, and just, it's a blessing in a disguise, really. Julian, can you tell me a little bit about the production? How did you, what was your experience on set? It was a lot of fun. Um, it was, I mean, everyone was just kind of happy to be there and there's a lot of good food. <laughs> that was the best part, huh? Yeah, that was, that was a very good part because there were Girl Scout cookies and they're delicious. So tell me some of the challenges um, with the subject matter that you guys had performing and directing. And um, I mean, the hard part about playing Poe was that you had to get into character, but I feel like once you got into character, it became like the more we filmed, the more it got easier to do. Yeah, he was really good. I mean, you didn't have that much dialogue per no, se. So that was but it was more about the, the hand gestures and the physicalities of the character that we worked on. And uh, you and I played a lot of games together. We would play Monopoly, and uh, what was that one where you dropped the ball? Do you know the name it of it? The, no, it's like, it's a, like this marble thing. It's a marble game, and it, it goes down a track. But the key was he had to stay in character while we played these games together. So we'd play these games for two or three hours, and he would just become Poe. Uh, which really helped him a lot when he was on set. So he could snap, he could go from Julian to Poe in, an, in a blink of the eye, um, which is really important because a, a lot of people have asked me, why didn't I hire an autistic child to play the role of Poe? There um, is an element in the film where he goes into his imagination and we get to go with him. And I thought it would be interesting is if in his world, he was completely typical. So you would need a typical child, neurotypical child to play the role and Julian pulled it off with Flying Colors. Really proud of him. He's won a lot of Best Actor awards already, which is incredible, and uh, the film is doing really well. What is one thing that you would like the audience to take away from this film? For me, I, I would like them to take away understanding, a, a real understanding of autism and how it affects families, and I'd like them to take away a feeling of love, because really at the end of the day, you know, you're here with me, I'm talking to you. It's all about love. Right. You know what I mean? I don't know. What do you want people to take away from it, Julian? I mean, I guess kind of the same as you, kind of like to learn about it, I guess. Learn about autism and stuff. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, tell me, what was one of, uh, outside of the food, tell me a memory that stands out the most um, on screen for you. Um, I'd say I really like... There's just one scene where we go to uh, an RC park. It's where you fly remote control planes, and I thought that scene was amazing. It was really cool. Very nice. Thank you, guys. I like. Uh, again, I'm Matthew Robinson with That's My Entertainment. What's yours?